Ezekiel Elliott is allegedly going to be released yeah. Yeah. from the Dallas oh. Cowboys. Remember, 4 o'clock today, the salary cap has to be made for every single NFL team. $224 million is where the salary cap has to be today for everybody. A lot of old vets potentially going to be let go because the old contracts that they were on might have been paying them a lot more than what the team views their current value, which we don't like as players. We'd like guaranteed contracts if that was possible. But that's not reality except for Deshaun Watson, which brings in Lamar Jackson. But Zeke's contract, probably pretty team-friendly at this particular stage on what can happen, what can't happen. And they're probably going to let him go because – Old Pollard. Uh -huh. It was yeah. a dog last year yeah. for them. Uh, Zeke is still a great player. Zeke still made a lot of hay. Chris Collinsworth went to bat for Zeke on a Sunday Night Football, and he said a lot of people say, like, he doesn't have that Southern Evan accent, does he? Why did I do that immediately? Well, he went to Florida. He's got so an I accent. Mean, Lives in Kentucky. Yeah. He said a lot of you, you say you compare Tony. I'm not, I, there's no reason for me to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, his quote was, a lot of people compare numbers of like average per yard carry and everything like that. But Zeke is doing a lot of the dirty work for the Dallas Cowboys. A lot of plays that Tony Pollard wouldn't necessarily do. But I don't think like Tony Pollard's scared to run in between the tackles. Though. Oh no, Like no, he's no. still doing what he's doing. So although Zeke might have had some plays that lowered his average, they were in a position where Tony did his thing. Oh, yeah. Zeke, though, still a guy. I, yeah, for sure. But to your point, what type of time is it right now to be a running back? It's a hard time to be a running back. <laughs> Why is that? Why is that? Why is that? Ain't no money. No. Ain't no money. Franchise tag is $10 million. Everybody who getting paid, they either trying to get cut or, or trade them. Derrick Henry. I'm, if you Derrick Henry, uh, McCaffrey up in San Francisco. Mm -hmm. But who else besides that are you going to pay big money, $14 million mm -hmm. plus? You can go and find a running back right now. What's the high school down here? Uh, Lawrence North. Lawrence, North. Lawrence mm -hmm. North, we can go and find a running back, and I'm not joking, but, like, the running back position is not as vital as it was three, four years ago. Why? Because nope. the off the design of the offense, you've got speedy guys back there almost. It's wide receiver combo, tight end combo. Yeah, and it's only a few programs that are really pounding the ball, that are running the ball 60% of the time. 90% of the offense is 3-4 wide, you know what I mean? Quick, up-tempo. Once we get in the red zone area, we'll slow it down a little bit so we can strategically plan our shots. Oh, but nice. Huh? doing the field, like, it's, it's, it's pick up and go, mm -hmm. almost like 7-on-7. Seven seven. Yeah, the strategy has completely changed. <laughs> I think the way you dropped that strategically right yeah. there was very solid. Yeah. Unbelievable. Because there's another T in there mm -hmm. that's coming. You can see, like, the scat back position is almost more important. Got to be able to catch coming yes. out. Got to be yes. able to get outside the box. So maybe certain type of running back, and then if you start thinking, like, well, there's scat backs. I feel like there's a lot more of those types For of guys sure. now coming in to the NFL out of college because you used to not be able to make it because you weren't big enough, mm -hmm. right? Like, need you to be big because you got to lumber, you got to lumber, you got to do that. Now it's like, uh, can you catch how your routes can right. you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you learn other positions? It is a fascinating turnover. And you talk about McCaffrey, he's already been traded. Yep. Mm -hmm. He was traded out of Carolina. Bingo. And Derrick Henry allegedly was being traded or allegedly not yeah, being shot. traded. Mm -hmm. We don't know what's real and what isn't. That's why we, all of us can't wait to talk to AJ later. But the running back position, real interesting right now. Yeah, and Zeke, I mean, if they didn't cut him, they are spending $26 million on Ooh. running backs. Like, you can't do that. And no. How many times were we watching Cowboys games where it was like, why aren't they getting the ball to Tony Pollard more? Like, he's so good. And, and that's probably some credit to Zeke because they were working together and when – Pollard first got in the league, he was just that third down scat back. So you definitely learned something from Ezekiel Elliott. But in that offense, like you kind of want Pollard to have those 25 yeah. touchdowns. I did as a fan. Yes. And I had him a lot of anytime touchdowns. He's too. awesome. Always. He's moving, Tony yeah. Pollard. Go ahead, Tony. Well, it's also tough, too, because you hear like Mike McCarthy's comments about what he wants to do with the Cowboys offense moving forward. Like Zeke's kind of getting the like the shit end of the stick there because for a lot of the years he was there, or in recent history here, he was there with, you know, Kellen Moore, and they were throwing it 40, 40 times a game. Yeah, it's like right. McCarthy next year is going to, you know, want to be running it 35 to 40 times a game. I know i got to run ball because my defense is going to get tired. <laughs> mm -hmm. I know what Kellen's doing. I've been there. He wants to light up the scoreboard. He's mm -hmm. offense coordinator. He wants to get a head coaching job. He said, me, I want to look out for my defense. That's what Mike McCarthy yeah, said. that's defense. And that's probably because Jerry Jones said, last year it was we paid Zeke a lot of money. That's what Jerry said. Mm -hmm. This offseason, he's probably like, you see, we got a new Zeke, Tony. We take. <laughs> we use. Give him the fucking ball. We use him. Yeah, let's do that. And Mike's like, you got it. Hey, you got it, boss. Kellen, I don't know what he was doing. <laughs>